Okay, so the graph shown below models the path of a ball thrown up in the air. The height is in meters and the time is in seconds. Okay, so this time we're looking at time and height. What is the maximum height reached by the, the ball? The highest point is where? 20 meters, good. Okay, the next part says, number, question B, when did the ball reach the maximum height? So how many seconds did it take for the ball to reach the maximum height? 2.5 seconds, good. Draw a little line like I did. Thank you so much. Okay, draw a line. So, so the ball was thrown, no time passed, started at zero seconds. This person threw the ball from the ground, which is kind of awkward. It went to the highest point after two and a half seconds, and then obviously what goes up must come down. And it hit the ground at five seconds. What, are the, what does this point represent on the graph? The x-intercept. And where was the vertex located? What point? 2.5, so we label it x, y, 2.5, 20. So in this question, we're looking at a cascading fountain, as you can see here in the picture. It forms a stream of water that can be modeled by the quadratic relation. So this water, sorry, this parabola represents the water, the stream of the water, okay? Use a graph to find the maximum height reached by the stream of water. How high does the water go? This was the easy question. Lawrence, what is the maximum height of the water? The highest point, which is located where? Vertex. What's the highest point? Good. Good. Four meters, and you told me the coordinates of... Okay, so it was two meters away from the fountain, that's when it reached its maximum height. Here's the fountain, the y-axis is the fountain. Okay, so C is a little bit confusing, but if you read the question carefully, it says, what horizontal distance from the center of the fountain, so here's the fountain, did the water reach? How far away from the center of the fountain did the water go? So from here to here, Raisel, you said it? Good, 4.25 meters. We have to look at an, we have to estimate here. Assume the stream of water does not leave any drops of water in its path. So just assume that the water just goes straight up and down and there's no drips of water anywhere, okay? How far from the center of the fountain could a person that's 1.8 meters tall stand under the water stream and not get wet? So once again, this is the fountain, right? If a person is 1.8 meters tall, 1.8 would be here. Okay, let's draw a person. The person is standing here. No, we need to figure out what is the point located at 1.8, it's what is this coordinate? Something and 1.8. Look at your graph. What is the x value at 1.8? If they move over to the right, okay, so my diagram is not really drawn properly, but if they move to the right, they'll get wet. So they have to stand, look here, between zero and something. What is that point? Kreesan? 0.5. Oh, from that yes, that from the fountain, no, from the fountain, they can only stand 0 0.5 meters away. If they stand further to the right, then they'll get wet. Okay, so 0 0.5 meters. Okay, and the last question, how tall is the base that the fountain rests upon? Remember, shh, the fountain is on the y-axis and this is the base of the fountain. At what point is that? How high is it? What's the height of the fountain? One meter. 